In this video, we are going to introduce a sigma notation for compactly writing sums. We've just started talking about Riemann sums. Suppose we have a positive function and you're trying to approximate the area under the curve from A to B, a Riemann sum is defined by splitting this interval into subintervals, however many you have. In each subinterval, we select a point, and then we create a rectangle the height of which is found by going up until we hit the function and whose width comes from, well, from this partition. And once we have the rectangles, the Riemann sum is the sum of their areas. So if we call this x1 star, x2 star, x3 star and x4 star. The heights of these rectangles are f of x sub 1 star, f of x sub 2 star, f of x sub 3 star, f of x X sub four star. For the areas, we need the lengths of these bases. Let's not assume they're the same. Let's call this delta x x1, let's call this delta x2, let's call this delta x3, let's call this delta x4. So the area of the first rectangle is the height times the width. The area of the second rectangle is the height times the width. The area of the third rectangle is the height times the width. And the area of the fourth rectangle, the height times the width. So notice here, that we are adding 
four terms that look the same. They're all f of x with some number in the subscript star times delta x with some number in the subscript. And the subscript starts at one and then counts up. One, two, three, four. And sigma notation, also called summation notation, gives us a compact way of writing something like this. You've got the sum of some terms. And they've got, let's call it I in them. All four of these terms are x sub i times delta x sub i. And I starts somewhere. In this case, it starts at one and it counts up until it reaches some number. In this case, it counts up one, two, three, four, and at four, it stops. No more numbers. This is m sub one plus m sub two plus, and we keep going until we reach whatever number we have up here, and then we stop. So tying this back to what we have here, we are adding these terms together. We start at one and we end at four. And their summation notation. Maybe just a brief example or two for the road. Example, the sum from i equals three to five of i squared. So you're substituting numbers in for i and adding the results together. We start with three and then we count up. And when we get to this number, we stop. So this is three squared plus four squared plus five squared. Maybe you use a different subscript. That doesn't change anything. K 
goes from zero to five of um, the cosine of k. We take this k and we substitute numbers in starting with whatever we have down here, and then counting up. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. And when we reach five, we stop. And that's summation notation. We will use it in this class to define an integral, and then we'll come back to it repeatedly in calculus two.